So what made you decide to go with the stage name Conscience? And um, that spelling? It was given to me by friends growing up, really. You know, youthful days, just started out in music. And I think just because, I think the spelling is just as a result of, of being from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I would speak Patois in Jamaica, so just we kind of style it away where we don't spell it the regular English way. We spell it the Patois way, so K-O-N-S-H-E-N-S. -E okay. How did you originally get into music? Um, I just always loved music as a fan from, from, from ever since. And my older brother was an artist, or is an artist actually. So between him and, and, and just following him to, to Sugar Miner's studio, that's how I started out doing music for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, when people discuss lyricism, they very rarely bring up reggae and dancehall artists. You yeah. know, it's usually all hip hop, rap. Mm -hmm. um, who would you say, in your opinion, are the three most lyrical reggae or dancehall artists? I think that's unfair, though. I think if people don't bring up reggae and dancehall artists in, 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 in lyrics or lyrical discussions, it's unfair. And I think it's a case where they just don't understand. Most people just don't understand what they're saying. But um, if you really listen to some of the artists over the years, you'd be surprised. I understand. Um, Vibes Cartel is definitely the most lyricist, um, dance all art, lyrical, sorry, dance all artist ever mm -hmm. for me. Um, and I don't ju just say lyrics in terms of a, a, a style of lyrics. So I would say Barry Salmon okay. is, is the second, and I'll put myself in it as well. Okay. So you've actually been labeled as reggae savior. Huh. which is a bit of a heavy title. Mm. Do you feel any pressure kind of having that on your back? No, and I don't think I am. I don't think I am a reggae savior. I don't think there was a, there is a person that needs to come up and save reggae. Um, I think everything is a cycle, and we're just going through a tough time right now. And, you know, it com it's, it's coming right back around. I don't want to label myself the savior and take on that task. Who would you say are some of your favorite reggae and dancehall artists coming up? Coming up? Yeah. Um, the artists in my camp, definitely, because my bias. So um, you don't know Dario Delos. These are na our names. Them not boss it, but you can look out for them. Javada, you understand. Um, coming up, um, quite a few of them promising, you know. Um, Chronics definitely. I would. Chronics. I think Chronics has arrived. Um, the controversial one. Um, Alkaline, um, you know, quite quite a few of them. I can't name all of them now, but quite a few of them look promising. Just some guidance and, you know, mm -hmm. them things will work. How about when you were younger listening to reggae and dancehall? Who did you listen to? I mentioned Vibes Cartel a while ago, but it all started from Bunty Killer, Beanie Man, Sizzler Kalanji, Capitan, the list goes on and on, Spraga Benz, and you go over into the reggae world, I mentioned Berris. But we listen to everything from John Holt, Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, everybody. So to start naming names is like a joke thing. 